Hello, I'm Joe Wren. Indiana Department of Transportation officials say local elected officials and others will break ground celebrating the beginning of construction. In Section 4 of the Interstate 69 corridor, the ceremony will take place at 10.30 a.m. on Tuesday at the intersection of State Road 45 and 54, about 16 miles southwest of Bloomington. And early voting for the May primary is underway across Indiana. WTIU's Shamika Neely reports Monroe County election officials have had to choose voting sites that are accessible to everyone. The number of precincts in Monroe County increased from 63 to 82 following the 2010 census. The county's population increased by 30,000 and a federal law caps how many people can vote in a precinct. County Clerk Linda Robbins says they were required to establish a polling location in each of those precincts that would be accessible. The election board co-located several precincts into the voting sites. Since we're not a vote center county, that we would have to find 82 locations that are compliant or ADA compliant for um, voting. And that is a just a almost impossible task. Voting clerk Laramie Wilson says Monday's voting proceeded without significant problems. All voting sites have plenty of parking and access for individuals who are disabled. At this satellite station, it's been fairly smooth. We have our machines all up and running. Uh, we've had a fairly steady, small stream of voters coming in. They have the choice to vote either by machine ballot or by paper ballot. Satellite voting continues through April 27th. The primary election is May 8th. For WTIU News, I'm Shamika Neely. And the Commission for Higher Education has a new system that will hopefully bridge the gap between high school and college. Commissioner Teresa Lover says the system will track Indiana high school graduates who go to college by collecting data on where they attend and how well they do in their first year. Here's the weather forecast for tonight. Mostly clear lows in the lower 40s. Tomorrow, sunny conditions continue. 68 the high tomorrow night. Mostly clear with lows in the mid 40s. And then in the five-day forecast on Wednesday, sunny conditions, 73, 74 degrees on Thursday with a 50% chance of thunderstorms back in the forecast on Friday. For WTIU News, I'm Joe Wren.